Would you please find a comfortable position to meditate in? Whether you like to sit in a chair with your feet flat on the ground, palms facing up, or if you like to sit in lotus position with your legs crossed, back straight, or maybe you like to lie down, would you please find your space and then close your eyes and take a deep cleansing breath. Allowing this breath to be a breath that connects you to your divine source. The August full moon is considered to be the hazel or the olive tree moon. So with that mental image picture, would you please allow yourself to ground into Mother Earth by growing roots from your body down into the foundation and into the core of our mother planet. Your roots start to push their way through soil deep, deep down. The hazel moon is also known as the full moon in Aquarius. August is the wise moon or the crone moon. The energy is quirky, it's independent, and has a humanitarian energy. This is a time where we are more inclined to let our freak flags fly or step right into our true, authentic selves. Now more than ever. Can you feel it? The August full moon will have you uncovering your personal uniqueness and really discovering how you can share this with the world. In the Northern Hemisphere, we're witnessing the late power of our masculine sun, and for those in the Southern Hemisphere, the late power of our goddess moon. It's a time of reflection. It's also a time for heightened intuition and awareness. So where are you? Mind, body, soul. So would you please notice that your roots have landed and plug into the core of Mother Earth. Once you've anchored your roots into her core, would you please give them a good energetic tug? And with that, it starts the gravitational pull on your grounding and on your energy field, which is your body, your chakras, your aura. And you can just start to release through your roots right down into Mother Earth. Releasing anything that's non-beneficial in your space. And really what that means is you're letting go of any energy that isn't you. You don't have to know what it is. Just hold the intention of letting go of any energy that isn't you. Or anyone else. Or anything. Just let it go. Allowing Mother Earth to transmute it and returning the energy to its rightful owner. So would you please release any expectations of what partnerships, community, and collaborations mean for you or what they've done for you or maybe sometimes what they've done to you? It's when we set expectations we tend to get disappointed, don't we? And Aquarius is the house of friendships. It's the house of collaborations. And if there have been times where you have felt unsafe in your partnerships or collaborations or even in your community or not welcomed, would you please let go of any of this grief or this strife that's in your space? The August full moon, it's a cosmic coupling, allowing us to see the difference between satisfying ourselves, which is Leo energy, and collaborating with others, which is Aquarius energy. And it is the full moon of Aquarius. And this helps us understand the relationship between teamwork and individuality. So maybe you're trying to find that, or maybe you're trying to find your balance within those. And can you see that? where you're letting go of that. If there's any resistance of self-sabotage or maybe creating a harmonious work and personal life balance, would you please let go of that too? If you're feeling tired, lethargic, unmotivated, would you please release that energy too? 
understanding those are all just energies and we have complete control over our energetic field to let those go. So if there's parts of you that feel maybe lonely or what I call soul sadness, not feeling part of something greater, would you please release that too? Because you know what? You are part of something great. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sitting in meditation like this. So would you please let go of everything that you've collected since the previous full moon that no longer serves you? Just let it go. And being that this is the wise moon, we hold most of our wisdom information within our crown chakras. That's our seventh chakra that plugs right into the soft spot of our fontanelle at the very top of our heads. So once you say hello to your crown chakra spinning up there, I'd like for you to please create right out in front of you with your eyes closed, a beautiful high vibrating rose. And it could be your favorite color if you like it. And once you see this high vibrating rose, would you please have all of your highest and best guides and angels, your higher self and divine source, put a message into this rose. Messages of your very own soul's wisdom that maybe perhaps you haven't had a chance to reclaim or understand just yet. So once your rose is full with these messages for your eternal soul, would you please allow this rose to nest right into your crown chakra at the very top of your head so you may have your soul's wisdom. And however you're going to integrate this information, receive this information. Maybe you'll receive it when you're sleeping, when you're daydreaming, when you're meditating or out in nature, you'll know these are messages of your divine soul's wisdom. You'll know. And then would you please build a beautiful, gorgeous, golden sun floating right over you, maybe about 10 feet in diameter, and allow this golden sun to be a receptacle, to be a sphere. You've been releasing so much into Mother Earth through your roots. Well, now we have to call back some really beautiful high vibrating energies and maybe parts of you that you've left behind. So would you please call back you throughout time and space, wherever you have left your energy or parts of you, whether this lifetime or other lifetimes, would you call back you? Feeling more you than you felt in a really long time. Would you allow energies that assist your wise soul during this full moon, during August, and also carrying forward? Really nurture your soul. It's all we can ask for, isn't it? And would you also allow energies that allow your freak flag to fly, allowing your soul's memories of when you felt like your authentic self, when you could really be your true self. Would you call that, that back into your son? And then calling back your soul's memories of when you've had beautiful partnerships, collaborations, and community, so you can see yourself living within that again and matching that vibration or higher. And would you please call back the energy of pure divine energy? And then energies that help you meditate and find your space. It is really the soul's medicine, isn't it? And then energies of lifetimes of when you worked closely within the moon cycles. And maybe sprinkle your sun with some magic. I don't know about you, but I love a little magic in my space. And then if you're working on a healing request or if there's something you're working on in your space, 
Would you allow your son to be filled in with maybe some clarity to what you're working on or maybe some energy to really heal this healing request? And then when you're ready, would you attach a golden ribbon to your son? Would you pull it down into your space and pop it with your finger and allow all of this beautiful high vibrating energy to start to sprinkle in your energy field, coming into all the layers of your aura, your body, your chakras, filling you in, completely filling you up. And in this very moment, you feel so connected connected to all that is you, connected to all that is greater than you, connected to your community, connected to other souls, feeling so revitalized and so you. And once you feel this, would you please open your eyes and come on back. Welcome back, you beautiful fifth dimensional high vibrating being. You are loved. I'm so grateful for you taking the time to listen to this meditation. I upload full moon meditations every single month. I would love it if you subscribed, if you um, clicked that bell for notifications, and if you wanted to look at my personal work or have a private one-on-one session with me, you can visit www.crystalsunshinepsychicservices.com or thepsychicsoul.com. I love you all.